I'm going to run a wash and a sticky board test on the colonies I have up at the honey house here. These colonies right beside the honey house, they're the ones I sweep off the hot room window. So these will be the dirty hives. Everything comes through and hits that window and into these colonies. And here are three remaining colonies here that I'm preparing for winter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a wash on these. These have been treated with Apivar also, and they've had the full duration of the treatment period. So which one do I choose here? I'll just choose that one over here. I'll do a wash, I'll see how many mites are in here. And if there's any mites in the wash, I'll run a sticky board as Kerry comes and vapes them with oxalic acid. First off, I'd ever make sure there's bees in this box. They were all chugging along when I put the strips in. These colonies at the honey house seem to get ignored a little more often than not, even though they're right close. I just never seem to get around to them. That's what we have here. There's a capable colony. And they're heavy with feed, so that's good. Uh-oh. We missed this one with Apivar, damn it. Okay. How did I miss that? I'm certain I... Or check those two. So I'm gonna follow through and do a mite wash anyways. This is what I call a hole. When I'm running my treatment program, everything's treated the same. Everything gets treated. And every once in a while, we'll miss a hive here and there. It's just because that's what happens. Typically, what we do is when we set out our trips or set out our medication, I even seen Carrie doing it, uh, we set out the dose on the hive lid. And that way, if we forget that treatment's remaining on the hive lid, so we miss very few that way. The problems happen. These guys are very well set up. Should be using smoke. So I don't see the queen on this frame. I'm going to proceed. Take a sample here. Good morning, girls. So that's gotta be at least a hundred over a hundred bees. are tagging me. It's for good measure.
I'm not seeing any brood, which is good, which means our treatment's gonna follow through with oxalic, just as it should. Smoker lit. One, two, three, three mites. Shake that a little bit more. Sure, a lot of foam in there. Oh, it looks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So, what's that? Uh, four ish, five ish percent for. And that's without a treatment here. So what I'm going to do in this colony is I'm going to set up a screen bottom board on this and monitor the mite drop with the oxalic acid treatment. treatment. Okay, let's proceed. Do a mite wash on these ones. Now these colonies set themselves up very well. Considering their circumstance, an injection of bees all the time is really hard on the queen. So much work to do feels like i'm wasting my time monitoring monitoring but this is the most important job right now it's just figuring out what's going on damn it should have let my smoker ah. well they'll let me in i'm sure so they're set up fairly well feed also let's go right into the middle Take a peek. No brood. Very well set up. No queen. I'm going to take my sample from this frame.
There, that wasn't too painful. zero mites so that's reassuring I just sweep that again zero mites See what the situation is. So I'm looking at one mite. That is reassuring. So I can almost, you know, that far when I forgot to treat with Apivar, I'll use that as my control. It was eight per, let's say 150 or so bees, I don't even know. So we're looking at over 5% there for sure. And then these ones didn't find any in that colony and only one in this colony. I should maybe shake a little bit longer here, you know, but I'm finding the information I need to know so that's good, that's a little bit reassuring. I'm gonna run an Apivar resistance test, or I maybe should, I should call it a tolerance test on this colony that tested 16% mite loads. I can perform it the same way as any rushed overworked beekeeper would. So I'm gonna take a frame of bees, and I'm gonna knock probably, whoops, I don't know, two or 300 bees into this container. And what this container is, it has a strip of Apivar in the top. I'm gonna fill it full of bees. Close it up. And let it sit on my desk for at least 24 hours. And I'm gonna count the mites in the bottom to see what kind of mite drop there was, or is gonna be. And then I'm going to wash them to count all the mites that didn't drop. And that should tell me if there's any tolerance or whatever. What's going on within this colony, I'm not exactly sure. All I know is there's 16% mite loads in my last wash. A lot of factors can add up to that. So it's, it's really easy for beekeepers like me to draw conclusions, which, you know, especially one that broadcasts over YouTube, there'd be a lot of a lot of things we need to watch about that, right? At any rate, <clears throat> I was going to treat this with oxalic acid also, but I'm going to take a further sample from this colony and take the live sample to my tech transfer program to verify what I'm doing here, just to make sure I have the right grasp on everything that's going on. Open brood, just beautiful. Beautiful open brood. This hive is not shut down. This hive is not backfilled either. There's a queen right there. So 
I wish I had a laundry tub I could drop all these bees into to make my job a bit easier. But this is a frame of brood. This is as close. I mean, this is the bees that I want to take my test on. So I'm just gonna sweep them into my sample jar. Best I can. So I have a sample of live bees within my little container with a strip of apivar hanging in the center. And I'm gonna count the mites that drop over the next 24 hours. So I'm gonna take this back to my office and put it on my office desk. Thank you. 
So this is four hours after I put the bees in here. There's a strip of apivar, and I don't know how many bees. I'll count them when we do our alcohol wash. It'd be roughly 300 bees, I'd suspect. And look at the mites. Alive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. 11 live mites. Oh, there's one up there. 12. 12 live mites. 12, 13. There's one on the table here. So that's telling me the apivar is working. It's knocking the mites down. Very interesting. So I'll wait until tomorrow morning and I'll do a count, I'll do a wash, and then we'll see what the numbers tell us.